Hello Malcolm, and hello everyone else. Welcome to episode 15 of The Abyss. As always, I hope the sound balance is okay. I, I mess with the settings on this one in the effort to make it uh, so that you don't get drowned out by the music. The music can be quite loud. The music in this game is marvelous though. Well, we're diving right in. I don't think we're really ready to tackle Roderick yet. I would say, were we to take him on, we'd be hosed. Where did we put that fancy taper that lasts forever, anyway? Right there. Uh, we seem to have a scratched ruby there. We must have grabbed that up in combat or something. We'll put it in our treasure chest, put it in our jam bag. So we have a little gold. I just tried to hit escape to get out of that. I've been playing planet base. Uh, we're done with Shaq for the moment. With more lore skill, we could probably identify what that cap does. Maybe we'll make that sort of the judgment point for when we're ready to deal with Roderick. So really, there's little for us to do but go downwards again. We've gained a lot of casting ability and some mana. I haven't been keeping track of our mana number. It's 47 max. That doesn't seem very high. Uh, what's our hit points? Yeah, we've got 76 hit points. So obviously we could have more mana than that. We've got to take this southern branch. And then up out of here. Wookie. Okay. And that's a potion of light heal, which is really kind of great. Uh, we go north and down. We're going to go for it. Moving like the Dickens. Love that music. I hope the levels are right for you guys. It's just so sepulchral and awesome. You never get tired of it. To think this game ran on, like, a 386 PC, I I was not able to get one of those. I had an Apple II Plus, and then later in life a 2E, um, but I never could afford to buy a PC until uh, the late 90s. I think I got my first one at the end of 1998. Um, and I had, other than having a PlayStation, I had never really experienced computer gaming properly. So this game is just a revelation to me. It is so gorgeous. You can appreciate the work that must have gone into it, you know. Oh, we need to get so down some... Oh man, it's a long way to get there. Let's go kill that gazer. Let's go... We're in the room with the water. Let's leave the room. No, we're not going to do it. We're not going after that thing. We're going to go kill that gazer. And we're not going to die. I swear we're not going to die. Okay, here's the entrance to the water area. We're going to save our game in a couple of slots here. In case it chases us. Like that feral troll. Where was that? That was awful. What level was that on? Oh, it was here, I think. Yeah, I think we just got up into there. No? Oh, it was here. This is where the feral troll was. We don't want to do that right now. I'd rather tackle a gazer. Okay, so we head west a nice long way. And then we're into the Gazer's territory, or potential territory. We're interested. I think we're going to hop on pop here. I wonder if we can eat this plant. Oh, we're going to have to get our steel out. Yeah, he's coming. We're going to deal with him. Uh, I can't seem to strike. We exterminated him. 
don't even know if he was hostile. We were kind of rough there. Well, still getting used to the controls of it again. Plain tasting but nourishing. The plant is plain tasting but nourishing. Okay, there's obviously some water stuff here, so let's go swimming. Save our game. We sure did well out of that combat. I was pretty lucky. There's going to be more such little hazards. Wait, this is just back to the beginning. So that's nothing. That's of no use. Well, it defines it on the map anyway. Let's go back west. Oh, we're going to end up in so much trouble. I can feel it. We're going to end up in so much trouble. It's another one of the rotten things. Don't hate them, they're just animals, but, uh, I sure wanna, oh, we can't back up, we're, we're stuck, we're stuck, we went in the water. He's down, we fell in. Okay, we did that without significant loss of hit points. I don't, I think without any loss of hit points, actually. So that's good. We'll save in a couple of slots. So far, so good. A couple of Krikla, no match for us. Okay, there's a passageway up into there. So let's just explore this land area first, eh? Just have a look around. I don't think we've been here. No. That bridge and stuff, all new, so... Let's bite on the bridge. Yeah, look, there's a corridor leading out of it. Let's bite on the corridor. Kind of away from the gazer, you know. Like that, like. Currently full and wide awake on the third level of the abyss, the seventh day of our imprisonment, and it's currently night. Or we guess that it is. We're going to have another plant. Plain tasting but nourishing. Let's see what that does to our hunger status. Satiated and wide awake. I like satiated. Might slow us down a little, but... That's alright. So there doesn't seem to be anything there. Is this back into territory we've been in? Uh, not quite, but almost. A little south, and it will be. Oh, there's another Krikla. Is it hostile? Let's move aside here. Hostile. Oh, we're going after it. We're Krikla hunting. Oh, is it going to run on us? It's staying way out of range. Wow, we killed another Krikla. We're the Krikla Slayer today, man. We're just destroying those things. Makes me want to save the game. My mouse is acting terrible. I know, I complain about my mouse a lot. I will replace it one day fairly soon. Okay, I think we're back into... Uh, is that another hostile? Yeah. Man, they're gluttons for punishment, aren't they? Come here, you nasty brute. Come a little closer. Yeah, just stay right there. Just right where I can reach you, buddy. Alright, more crickless slaying. Lurker. The deep lurkers, I'm sure, are much tougher. We've only encountered a mellow deep lurker at this time. And we didn't try to challenge it in combat, but I assume they're considerably tougher. Okay, so we've got that whole area back north and east to explore, so let's go do it. This way, kind of. Oh yeah, look, we can jump over here. This is interesting. We've been in there. We look to go north. Yeah, north of that guy. Let's jump back over. We are great jumpers. My goodness, can we jump like the dickens? Okay, looking east. Yeah, this is a place to investigate. We're gonna have to go swimming. It's kinda scary, you know? gonna just go, whoa, we can't go there, so, we'll go to here, this does look familiar, we might have been here, I'm not, no, I'm, 
don't think we have. So we need to investigate to the south of us. Let's just fill it in. Swim over there and swim back. Just a toadstool. See if we can make the jump. No, no jumping. Okay. Okay, so east of here, we'll look again. Oh yeah, I can hear a lurker. I can hear one of those down lurkers. There's a passage going up again. There's definitely a lurker. This game has stereo effects. You can tell direction, but... I don't know how we're going to find this lurker. He's going to lurk. That's what they do, right? We're going to swim around the area. We have pretty good swimming skills, so probably doable. Just gonna have a little quick look. Definitely could hear one. Yeah, can still hear one. Not sure where he is, though. Okay, we're gonna have to go up there, and that must be where the gazer is. So. Oh. Can't even remember who told us of the many-armed tentacled creature here. Let's see if we can pull our sword first and do this with sword out. Uh, I think our sword sort of auto puts away. We're gonna swim up this. This isn't nice at all. And there's probably a horrible, dangerous thing here. Get your sword out. Yeah, there it is, too. Let's hope our sword skill sees us true. This thing's on us. We tagged him once. We tagged him twice. We got him on yellow. Oh, we've got him on red. We're smacking him. He's trying to run. Oh, he led us into the water like a big jerky. Big jerky. Oh. Got him. He took quite a chunk off us. We're down to 45 from 74, so. He took a big chunk off us. Uh, I don't know if we'll waste that potion just yet. We'll probably just eat that trouble. Okay, so there's a book here. And a potion. Let's see if we can identify that. Magical green. We can't identify it. So we're going to potion sack it. Because we've got a whole stack of them here and we're going to hopefully identify them when we get some more lore. And a book. Uh, I should probably save the game here, actually. Uh, okay. Let's grab that, an undamaged book. You read the book. Speaking foul increases one nim one's nimbleness and tumbling. Okay, where is my abyss sheet? Here it is. Uh, so, foul for acrobatics. Okay. We've got really good acrobatics already. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at all our skills right now. We've got attack 16, defense 16, unarmed of 7. It's kind of a waste. Sword of 12. Really happy with that. Axe of 2. Eh, whatever. Nothing on mace and missile. 0-0. Zero, zero. 17 mana, 15 lore, 9 casting, 0 on traps, 4 on search, 0 on track, 2 on sneak, 17 on repair, 0 on charm, 11 on pick lock, 12 on acrobat, 2 on appraise, and 8 on swimming. Okay. Well, I didn't do a thing for us. Let's leave that book here. Alright. Is there anything secret doors or anything? I'm not seeing any. Okay, I think we're done with this location. We vanquished that guy right up. Um, gee, we're right on the back of a shrine here. Interesting. It says Ankh here. That's weird. Well, we'll remember that. Hey, it suddenly seems darker. Let's get out of here. 
you know, it starts seeming darker, it's time to go. We still seek greater skills to defeat the evil Roderick. We're not up to his kind of toughness just yet. I don't think we are, anyway. I don't think we could take a combat with him, not without severe luck. Um, so going down is what I really want to do, but at this level we start to run into trouble. Maybe we could take that black ghost now. We really are cranked up. Let's check the condition of our stuff. Excellent buckler excellent, of great protection. Excellent magical male shirt. Excellent magical leather cap. Excellent leather leggings. Excellent leather boots and gloves. Everything's in good shape. Our mana's full. Uh, our mouse is awful. We are full and wide awake, so we'll actually grab a fish right now, I think. I think we'll just grab a fish right now. No luck, no luck, no luck, no luck, no luck, no luck. You catch a lovely fish. You're too full to eat that now. <sighs> what a waste of a fish. I feel terrible. That sucks. You don't want to waste a fish. Okay. Uh, this mouse. Uh, I'm changing my mouse battery live on the internet. It's done. Out with the old, in with the new. I hope this works and it's not something wrong with the mouse. I've got a fresh pack of double A's here. Most pleased. So I'll just make sure I don't put that one anywhere I mistake it for a new one. I think it goes this way around. Look, the light flanked. Let's just see how my mousing experience rates now. Let's get the hinge on there properly. Oh, the little plastic flap is sticking through the nodge bodgler. Gee, it really just wants to do that. Wow, that's annoying. I swear, this shouldn't be this difficult. Now it won't shut. I think it's because there, there's this little plastic strap that goes under the battery that makes it easy to pull the battery out. And that. I uh, can just do whatever it's going to do. Mouse is working like a charm. We've got to get to some stairs down. Um, er, looks like way south, east, and then north. So let's just bear south. Oh, we'll take water. No, we can't. Oh, no, we're all stopped from going south that way. Well, that was a waste of time. Let's go across the bridge. Here we go. South, south, south. Lots of south. Right into this lizard complex, which I'm sure we haven't done everything in. <coughs> Pardon me. So we need to hang a turn... here, yeah. So it's left, right, center, right? I hope I remembered that right. Yeah. Oh, we've left some gold and everything here. What is all this stuff? Good God. Okay, next time we see a torch, we should do some incense. So let's grab that torch out. Find our incense pouch. Where is it? There it is. Get that out. Gee, the mouse isn't acting that much better, but my button had stopped working completely like I wasn't even able to click, so I think it was done. Alright, let's do this incense. Okay, so... Gotta write this down. Um, it's a purple and gold cup. So I'm gonna cut question mark cup with... In. So it's hn, sa, and in that have come in those incense visions. If we find any more incense, we'll see if there's any more of them. Okay, we're done with that. We can toss this torch, we don't need it. Oh, that did the door. That's interesting. 
fire up our lantern, throw away this ash, check our map. Uh, we just head east and we get to some stairs down. So that's nice. Uh, is this where the bandits were? Yeah, we're passing bandit territory here. If there's any of them left, they might kind of have it in for us. So we're just gonna kind of hustle bustle it right past them. We're gonna save our game here. And head down. And take a look at where we are. Now Roderick is up there. I don't think we're ready to handle him. I really don't. <sighs> There's some stairs down pretty close to here, so... North... Where was that feral troll? Right up there. Let's go try to handle the feral troll. So, northeast and then north. Let's go, uh, open this door. Turn east. Go through this door. What? No, this is the wrong, isn't it? Uh, no, no, we just go way north of here. Oh, and there's the room with skeletons, and we're in condition that we can... Ah, uh, hi, hi. Upset troll, you come back? Why? I can say, canst thou tell me any news? I am searching for trolls to kill, or I am merely exploring. I am actually searching for trolls to kill, that would be the truth. But I'll say, canst thou tell me any news? It just ended the conversation. I need him to move, he's blocking the door, okay. And then, uh, yeah, it's north. This is gonna, that thing could be loose. I think we left the door open behind us, so. Let's save our game here, twice, and uh, be right ready to fight. Maybe I should heal? Okay, good enough, good enough. Don't want to waste all the mana right away. He's going to be right in here and he's like one heavy duty feral guy. Here he comes. We tagged him. Tagged him, but look at the tiny blood spot it made. That was better. There could be like a dozen of these in here, who knows, eh? Looks like we're able to kill him. If we're lucky here. Got a feeling if he had hit, he would have hit really hard. Okay, that's done. That was really scary. Let's grab this meat and see if we can eat it. Too full to eat that now. Let's see it. It's a day old piece. We're gonna hang on to it for another day or so. <laughs> you know, let me say no. That went well. So we're in totally new terrain. Let's save our game. And yeah, we've got a door here and we don't know what's behind it, so open it up and head through it. Oh my god, no. Hostile, hostile. Let's let him come at us. We don't want to penetrate into his territory. Okay, we've hit this guy three times and he's not even damaged. Four times, and five times and he's not even damaged. Finally on yellow from like a mega hit. Oh, he's down to red. He's down to red. This one tagged us a couple of times. Okay, we're gonna back away. Okay, that went well enough. I don't think we're gonna expend any mana yet. Uh, we're gonna take it easy here. I think there's more of them in here. I've got that... F I think we have actually better keep our sword out. Uh, he left golden meat. We don't need golden meat. This is interesting. We've got to look around in here real careful, man. There could be anything. I think there's got to be more trolls in here. Oh, okay. It ends there. 
Alright. So we're not taking the gold or meat off the other troll. We're going to leave it. We're going to open this door. What do we got? We've got kind of a room full of stuff. Pretty interesting looking. So we've got a red potion. Let's check it out. It just says red potion. So totally not able to identify it. Our lantern just ran out. So we're going to get out our last oil from whichever bag it's in. Uh, that didn't work. No, you got to click use oil flask on water and then you use it on the lantern. So now it's a nearly full lantern. We'll fire it up again. And we'll use the taper after that even though it's not as good. It'll save us some weight. Slightly worn wand, so let's pull that in. We can't identify it, so it'll go in the magic stuff pouch here with our ring of leaping. Uh, we're still good on weight. Alright, let's check for secret doors in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's check our map. Uh, we haven't fully explored. It's just, we can run around now and look. Go into every corner. We've killed the trolls. The old piece of meat. We're not quite ready to eat it. Co currently full and wide awake. Okay, so we're into some new stuff on level 4 here, definitely. So that's really great. We just got a lot of experience, I think. So we're going to try the Ring of Leap for getting in this. Get the magic stuff bag out, put the Ring of Leap on. And see what happens. We did it! Ah, that saved a fly spell right there, eh? Thank you, Ring of Leap. Awesome. Awesome. I've got to remember that. Uh, so that's put away. We're going to save our game here because who knows what we're walking into. That went so well right now that it could one could get cocky. Okay, this heads down this way. There's not a lot of room here for there to be much stuff, but uh, we're going to check it out for sure. I'm wondering if there's going to be more enemies down here. Oh, it's huge. What's going on? Does it join up? Oh, it joins up here. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, so if we'd taken a different corridor, we would have gotten up to there and had a shot down at the trolls with missile weapons. Okay. So, troll complex has been explored. Now there's the room with the hostile skeletons right here. Now, skeletons we have been able to take pretty reasonably in the past. So we're going to just try to take them, I think. Pop this open and have a look. Yeah, there's more than one down there. Yeah, there's two, I can see. It's dark down there. We're going to whip out our sword. And we're going to... Oh, there's three. We're going at it. We're going for it. Yeah, we can take them out. This one's tougher. I think monsters definitely have different levels. Now there's all these levers up here in this room and we're stuck down here where we can only get out with a fly spell. So that's pretty funny. I wonder what these levers do, dude. Good, good, good. How do you do these levers? They come down. That's the lowest. Oh, you can probably reach this one. Um, let's try it on a jump. Oh, let's try it again on a jump. I think you can do it. No. Okay, well, we'll just fly out of here. Let's look around and see what they've got. Worn leather cap. Not magical. That we can tell. Or in short sword, not magical that we can tell. I'm wondering about that jeweled sword that we found. I don't think skeletons leave anything nice. 
Okay, so there is obviously going to be some way to do this. There is obviously going to be some way to do this, but uh, we're going to be wasting at least one her pour in here, basically. So let's just get that set up. There's her. There's pour. We'll cast. Up we go, and we're going to try the levers. Ah, oh, look, it raised that block. Yeah, it's some way of escaping. It's some way of escaping, is what it is. How you're... Maybe you're supposed to use telekinesis or something? Oh, what? We keep dropping, man. We keep falling. Oh, I'm having trouble moving. It's close. Come on. Yeah, and that brought one over here. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna fly out of here. It, all it is is a way out, so... I don't think there'll be a big treasure revealed at the end or something. It's just a way out. So let's just save some mana here. And try to get the heck out of this place. Oh man, what? We're going to lose our spell before we get to the door, darn it. Oh! Levitate is nearly done. Okay. Alright, that was fun. Levitate is done. Let's hang in Bet Manny again. In Bet Manny. That was cool. And yeah, I don't think there will be like a golden crown revealed when you activate the final lever or anything. I could be wrong. There could be something, but I don't think there would be. So we got that dealt with. There's nothing here but bloody Roderick. And we don't want to deal with Roderick right now, so... Let's get to those stairs down. Well, what's below us? There's this evil mess which we haven't completely explored, but we have explored a large portion of. We don't know if we can cast fly twice in a row. So what we're going to go do is we're going to go try to handle that black ghost. So the stairs down from here are so a long ways, and then west and north. So let's get going south. Get out of here. Not that way, but this way. And I think a pretty good long ways. Right through friendly troll territory, and here we are to here. Yes, now we go west. It's all coming together now. Uh, whoops, I think we went the wrong way. Now we're headed north, I think that's right. Yeah, and then uh, west again. And then north. We're just hustling through the dungeon. Is it time to eat a fish yet? Full and wide awake. We'll leave the fish for now. We went a bit too far north. We gotta go south and east. This way. Oh, it's Linnet. Hi, Linnet. Not gonna chat with him right now. I'm gonna save our game right here. Okay. And uh, check the map. Yeah, good. Let's go down. And we're here. We want to find Death the Death Ghost. So we go west, south, and east. So west, south, and then east. And this should be the entrance to the maze that leads to the horrible ghost. Oh, we didn't get the ten fish for McDoodle. We'll have to get the ten fish for McDoodle. I think you can fish in the Zanium room, so we'll just do it there. Um, this is such a mess. I'm just going to go east and north and east and then south. 
So east. Wait a minute. Went too far. Spin around. Oh, and I've got to get my flute from Shax. Two. Totally forgot about that. There's so much to do in this game, frankly. So, as you get deeper into the game and you get more experienced, there's more and more stuff to accomplish. It's kind of great. West. A long way west. And it's... You know, it's not so bad coming back through done sections of the dungeon. It's usually very fast. This particular maze, because of my poor skills with mazes, um, it's taking us a little while to deal with. Because I suck at this kind of thing. But we will get to the Black Ghost. We've read that before, right? Let's read it. Beyond Rom to Nuts and Bolts for Traps. Yes, we wrote that down wrong for Traps. Yes, we found this backpack before. Uh, we want to go south, east, south. So, south, east, south. There's the place. Okay. And we are not fully healed at all. And that thing's gonna tear us to pieces for sure, eh? Well, let's save our game in like four slots here and see if we can beat this damnable beast. Uh, we do have better stuff than we had and we do have better skills than we had. Um, I think we're gonna eat up the potion. It did nothing. Uh, we're gonna do a heal spell. Okay, that's pretty good. Gonna save the game again in slot one. And we're gonna take our sword out. And we're gonna head in. We're gonna try to beat it. There it is. Yeah, we've got way more sword skill. So we might have a better chance of surviving this. And we're wearing, I think, slightly better armor. Oh, this thing is not letting us have a moment here. Oh, it's making a mess out of us. Uh, I gotta look up. Oh no, why does it have to go up like that? The nasty rotter. Oh, we beat it, and it dropped a key. Oh. oh, wow, that was hardcore. We won. We beat the Death Ghost. What's it say here? Uh, the plaque reads, Herein lies Noland, formerly Sir, stripped of his title. He strayed from the path of virtue by murdering the young Endicott in cold blood. I wonder if that was his ghost we just fought. Oh god, I wonder if there's another ghost. Okay, we... Uh, I'm having trouble picking up this key. Here we are. We're going to leave that key out for a second here. I don't know if we're going to have to hang on to it or not. Let's just save our game in a couple of slots here. Wow, that was pretty trippy. Key feels strange. This key feels strangely clammy. That's awesome. The key unlocks the lock. Okay, we're going in. There's a grave and a box. Oh, and a battle axe. A worn battle axe. Let's see if it's magical. How we're having trouble picking stuff up. No, it just says a worn battle axe. So. Let's get rid of it. And let's take a look at Noland's grave. Noland. Here lies Noland, separated ignominiously from the rest of his order. Oh, Noland. That sucks for you, buddy. What a way to go. Let's check out what's in this little box, eh? Ooh, there's two rune stones, a wand, and a gem. We've got a time stone and a rel stone, and I don't think we have either of those stones right now. 
So we're going to throw those right in the rune bag. Uh, we'll be able to cast like a stop time spell. An unblemished red gem, we'll take it. And a slightly worn wand of unknown purpose. So we'll put the wand in the magic sack. In it goes. And we'll put the gem in the money sack. In the gem sack. Right there. Trade goods. Can't eat that meat yet. And we've got a gold box that weighs like one, so we are going to just chucko. We're just going to get rid of it. I uh, love carrying the gold box, but uh, I think it's a bit too expensive in weight. Well, that was pretty cool. Let's check for secret doors. That was pretty neat. We sure took a hammering. What have we got for mana? We've got six, so we can cast one more heal. Oh, it was a really good heal, too. We're at 55 out of 76 uh, hit points now. Okay, well that went well. We didn't find any stairs down down here. Um, we still haven't found any stairs down on this level. <sighs> so we're going to have to do a little more searching to do that. We're going to camp out here. Um, we're going to call this horrible room. Let's see if we can get out. Oh no! What? Use key. Use key, use key. The key unlocks the lock. Oh my god. Oh, I thought we were so hosed. Right, let's just close that. And we'll pull into this little corner here. And uh, we're going to have a camp and restore our mana, I think. We're full and wide awake. Well, maybe we shouldn't have a camp then. You know, we've got pretty good hit points. We can keep going like this. I don't see a problem with it. Um, I don't know about the possibility of casting multiple fly spells. I, d I don't really see that working for us. So let's go to the Zanium guy's room. Oh, what a pain. How do we get out of this place? Oh, is it this way? Yeah, it is. We're bouncing off the walls, man. Ba-ding, ba-ding. Great sound effects in this game, I gotta say. So, wait a minute. We need to turn north and east. This way. And then uh, we can cut straight north through here, I think. Like this. And that takes us to here. There we go. God, it's just the devil. I hate mazes. I don't, you know, I don't mind that the game has them. I think it's it's kind of a necessary feature. Um, devil take it. How do we get out? West, south, west. Hi, ghoul. You'll make me boots later, right? You're a nice ghoul. Uh, so actually to reach that area, we have to either go back through the maze, where I didn't go, because I'm stupid, and there could have been stairs down here. Oh, are you kidding me? Look, I haven't explored that corner. Oh, no, really? Am I really going back? Well, it's not that hard, is it? I go north and then way east. Oh man, sorry guys. So north and then like way east. Those are stairs up. We've gone the wrong way. We gotta go south. This is crazy. Where's the east turn that you're supposed to take? It looks like it's here, just slightly north of me. Yeah, it's right here. And then you go to the 
this is like flying east. Hello, cool. Goodbye, cool. And then you go south. Oh my god, there's probably nothing there. There's probably nothing there. It's probably just another twist of maze, but you know, I didn't explore it, so we kind of have to, eh? Just because that could be where the stairs are hidden. And uh, not really able to deal with crossing the lava right now because we don't have the boots, which require the thread, which we just don't have. So to get to that area, we need to head west from here. Okay. There's a mandolin here. Um, I'm finding it harder and harder to get west. There's the jeweled sword. Let's pick it up again. And check. Doesn't say magical, so... Back it goes. Uh, we need to go north and west. Man, this is so tricky. Back past the damn mandolin there. Okay, hold on. We're going the right way now. There's gonna be nothing there. It's gonna be nothing. All this maze crawling for no purpose, eh? Okay, we're pretty much there, so directly south of us and also around that kind of corner, so. This is unexplored. Oh, we've got an oil flask. Well, let's. Oh, there's two. Let's take one. Leave one there. We'll be back past here again, probably. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, what a nightmare. Maybe we should have taken both of those oil flasks. We can haul them. Uh, oh, it's a good enough place for them. Okay, so we need to go west and north, and then we're in that fire room again. Which is actually kind of where we want to be. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here from previous, whatever, battles or something. Okay. This is the entrance to the fire room, so we're going to hop down on into there. Boom. We're not pushing the lady into the lava. So we need to find out what lies beyond that endless wall of flame. So that is going to require a camp to regain our mana so we can cast her pour twice, eh? Okay, here we are at the entrance to the horrendous wall of flame. We're going to put on our leap ring because um, I think it might be a lifesaver if we just fall into the fire like really close to shore kind of thing. Um, this key we're probably never going to need again. We'll put it in the uh, key bag for now. That's not the key. Yeah, that is the key bag. It just happens to have a wand in it. That won't fit in that, will it? No, the pouch is too full. Oh, we'll put it... That pouch is too full. I can see where the wand's in there all of a sudden. Alright, that's all good. Okay, so we will have to camp here. Uh, we do have a piece of meat, right? Yeah, we got a piece of meat to eat, so we're not going to go too hungry. So we're going to save in all four slots right now. Because I am going to call this episode at this point and go feed my fire and feed myself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this excursion into the abyss. My internet is still down, so uh, this will be delayed in release. Anyway... We will see you all next time for, I guess, episode 16 coming up. And next episode, episode 16, we are going to try to uh, fly. We're going to try to cast two fly spells in a row and somehow make it to wherever this goes, if it even goes anywhere. We're going to find out and we're not going to die trying because we're going to save up a ton of mana and get ready for that. So today we killed a lot of beasties, 
and we did really well. We're actually in solid shape, just used up all our mana, but and a potion. The potion did nothing, it was useless. We don't have the lore to identify all our other potions, more's the pity. Some of them might be beneficial. Anyway, we will see you all next time. I hope you're having a good day, night, morning, whatever time it is for you where you are right now. And, uh, so until then, bye for now.